सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम यू आर टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैड कवर्ड विद फोर मॉड्यूल्स ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग ओके सो नाउ वी हैव लेफ्ट विद ओनली वन मॉड्यूल दैट इज मॉड्यूल फाइव सो द नेम ऑफ द मॉड्यूल इज इमेज रिस्टोरेशन ओके सो इन मॉड्यूल फोर सम ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट आई नो दैट आई एम नॉट डन इट सो बिकॉज आई डिडेंट हैड टाइम टू डू इट सो दैट्स वाई आई कूडेंट डू इट सो इफ आई हैव सम ऑफ मेटीरियल्स Uh, based on the module four, I'm going to provide it. So stay tuned for that as well. So in this uh, video, we are going to cover with the fifth module, that is image restoration. Okay. Under this, we have some important restoration concepts to be known. How the image is restored back. So we have one simple procedure for that. Then after that, we have some different noise models, noise probability models under the image restoration process. So that we are going to discuss in this video and. so this would be one final video of module 5 okay so in this one video only i'm going to cover each and everything so stay tuned first goal of image restoration that is improve an image in some predefined sense that is difference between image enhancement that is image enhancement and image restoration difference is that image enhancement what it does is it solidifies the image that is it improves the uh, pixel level intensity and brightness and contrast saturation everything is improved but whereas in case of restoration restoration is the predefined sense so that's why what it does is after the enhancement if you want back our original image then the restoration part is done so that's why that's the difference between enhancement and restoration if you want to get back our original original image you should be uh, performing the restoration operation okay so the features are image restoration versus image enhancement objective process versus subjective process a prior knowledge of the degradation phenomenon is considered modeling the degradation and apply the inverse process to recover the original image okay so this is the complete restoration process so goal of restoration is improve an image in some predefined sense okay the improvement of the image in some predefined sense predefined means already you should be doing the improvement based on the enhancement done in the previous way okay so this is the function given for a uh, image restoration that is f cap of x comma y is equal to f of x comma y that is g of x comma y is equal to h of x comma y into f of x comma y plus neta of x comma y where this is the degradation function okay so this is in terms of x y so in terms of frequency domain that is given in terms of g of u comma v that is h of u comma v into f of u comma v plus n of u comma v. so this is the block here where this is the input image that is given through the degradation function h okay and this is the complete degradation block where this is the noise here where if you have some unwanted noise that is produced in this filter g of x comma y and that is restored back inside the restoration filter restoration operating is taking place and this is our original input image which is uh, the restored image which is which we have get back from the enhanced image okay so this is the complete restoration model okay so degradation due to noise under that we have some noise models spatial frequency and domain property noise pdf and where noise pdf is where statistical behavior of gray level values in the noise component of the model okay the target is degraded digital image sensor digitizer light level sensor temperature display degradation interference in channel etc are the parameters which would be effective in the image restoration okay so this is the complete block of restoration so just note it down now let us get with the different kinds of noise models okay so we have different noise models to be discussed here one by one each of them let us discuss so this is that question that is discuss the various noise probability models so noises are characterized by their probability density functions so some of their models are described below that is so the first kind of noise model is called as gaussian noise or awgn okay awgn is additive white gaussian noise so this is one type the definition of gaussian noise is it is a type of statistical noise following the gaussian distribution okay gaussian distribution means the distribution is not in a constant manner it would be varying with respect to the time uh, uh, time given okay it is characterized by the random fluctuations equal probabilities etc okay so this is the probability density function given for this gaussian model that is given by p of z is equal to 
1 divided by square root of 2 pi sigma when the sigma is the standard deviation into e to the power minus z minus mu the whole square divided by 2 sigma square okay so this is the plot for gaussian noise where the random fluctuations you see here these are the points of fluctuations here this is one point this is one point and this is one point where uh, the this is the fluctuation points that is mu minus sigma mu and mu plus sigma okay and these are the points that is uh, this point is named as square, 1 divided by square root of 2 pi sigma and this is 0 0.607 divided by square root of 2 pi sigma okay so just uh, note this plot and this was for gaussian noise so the second kind of noise is Rayleigh noise so Rayleigh noise is a type of statistical noise it is again a statistical noise where uh, statistical means one uh, proper periodic noise that follow a Rayleigh distribution it is commonly found in envelope detection of band pass noise radar and ultrasound imaging okay so this is the plot here in this we have one constant value and uh, based on that constant value we would be seeing uh, seeing the sudden change that the drastic change from one constant region okay so that's why we have two set of equations for p of z that is p of z is 2 by b into z minus a into e to the power minus of z minus a the whole square divided by b if z is greater than or equal to a okay and it is zero why it is zero because you see here it is constant right so that's why it is zero if z is less than a okay so here you see here it is zero if z is less than a if it is greater than a so this is the plot obtained so based on this definition if you substitute each and every values you would be getting this plot okay so this is for Rayleigh noise one more kind is gamma noise gamma noise it follows gamma distribution it is often used to model speckle noises in coherent imaging systems okay and multiplicative noise in images so this is the plot for gamma noise where we have some terms called as k and uh, b minus 1 by a so here k the value of k is defined as a into b minus 1 whole to the power b minus 1 into e to the power minus of b minus 1 divided by b minus 1 factorial okay and the probability density function is given by it is a power b into z power b minus 1 into e power minus z divided by b minus 1 factorial for z greater than or equal to 0 and it is 0 for z less than 0 that is if you have all the negative values the gamma noise is not uh, functioning in case of any negative value so it is 0 for z less than 0 so this was all about gamma noise next we have exponential noise it follows the exponential distribution often used to model random events or arrivals and are characterized by rapidly decaying the distribution okay and it is commonly used in modeling and analysis of various systems okay so this is the exponential plot here they have mentioned here this is the probability density function that is p of z is defined by a e to the power minus a z if for z greater than or equal to 0 and it is 0 for z less than 0 okay so next kind is uniform noise it follows the uniform distribution it is often used in modeling quantization errors okay to model the quantization errors the uniform noises are used and simulating the random events or random processes so if you want to sim simulate any random events in based on the probabilities this uniform noise can be used so this is the function here p of z is equal to 1 divided by b minus a in the interval a to b and it is 0 elsewhere okay so this is one random noise occurred here just in between so we have one uh, noise going and this is the random noise which is fluctuated in between with that that random noise is the uniform noise okay so next is salt and pepper noise salt and pepper noise or it is also called as the impulse noise okay it is a type of noise that appears as a random white or black pixels okay in case of salt and pepper noise you should be considering only two shades either black or white the name only suggests you see here salt represents the white color and pepper represents the black color okay it's a type of noise that appears as random white or black pixels in an image it is characterized by random occurrences of the extreme pixel values extreme pixel values means extreme white color or extreme black color okay in between that shades are there right those are not in into the picture that is either 255th shade or the zeroth shade either black shade or white shade okay so this is the probability density function they have given that is p, it is p of a for z equal to a p of b for z equal to b and if we have the p of c again it is p of c for z equal to c if for different impulse functions we have different values of probability density functions and zero if it is 
if the impulse function is not there it is equal to zero okay so these were the six noise models which were very important if they ask in the exam if you write this much you would be easily getting seven to eight marks okay so please note this down and uh, with this i conclude the sessions of uh, digital image processing so i had covered most of the concepts from all the five modules so some of the concepts are pending from module 5 and module 4 i know that so if time permits i'm going to provide the videos so if there is no time i'm just going to provide the notes okay all the notes is already provided it is in the videos description just go and access it and all five modules notes with the standard ppts which i which i have used to explain in these videos that is also available some additional handwritten notes and textbook is also available in that notes okay so go and access it and study it well so that's all for this video guys uh, I was in a hurry to cover this DIP, so that's why I couldn't cover the complete course. So if time permits, after the exam, I'm going to do it because this is a very important subject. But I don't know why they have kept it as a professional elective subject this time for 6th sem. I really don't know that. So that's why I didn't take that much seriously to do this subject because this is a very vast subject. I didn't start from the basics also. So that's why. So which and all are important from the exam point of view, some important questions which were repeated in the previous scheme papers and all. I have referred that and based on that I have done the topics from all the five modules. Okay. So refer these videos guys. Notes will be there in the description. Access that notes by following some steps that uh, how the steps about how to download that is also mentioned in the description. Go and see that. Download the notes and read these notes. Okay. So it is that's it from my side guys. Study well score good marks in the exam because these subjects are the scoring subjects okay very easy subjects just key points and key diagrams if you remember easily you would be scoring this okay so that's all guys thank you